Well, I managed to catch up on number five and six of Doomsday Clock. I must just tell you, it's badassery to see the Watchmen characters uh, enter the world of none other than DC Universe to see Batman interact, Superman interact with comedian Rorschach, Ozymandias, and these new inventions of the mime and marionette character. And you get a lot of their uh, story in the following issues. You also get uh, to see what went on with the aftermath of comedian freaking blasting Adrian Veach during his encounter with the smartest man, Lex Luthor, of the DC Universe, that is to say. <coughs> Sorry, I'll try and hold still for a moment. I'll try and not be too hype, because I just enjoyed that shit. Um, there was the backstory given from youth of Mime and Marionette. Get to understand what was going on with them and why they were, uh, how they kind of came to be and got their attraction and just their background. And it was a, actually a very nice, moving uh, love story. And uh, I don't want to really say too much. I don't want to spoil too much for you, uh, you guys and gals out there. Uh, because I know I have so many female fan base. <laughs> Do yourself a favor and check out number five and six, Doomsday Clock by Jeff Johns and Gary Frank. The writing is fantastic. He does his best. Alan Moore, he does a great job. And uh, the Gary Frank artwork, as well as the, you know, in the style of Dave, Dave Gibbons, is fantastic. So, booyah! Check them out. Do yourself a favor. Enjoy it. Do yourself a favor of the show. That's my series of uh, single issues. Bag smile!